Hi everyone. So today we're gonna we're gonna look at how big is Harlem's number, and this is a number uh, created by Lawrence Harlem, which is also the creator of this uh, big number named Big, which is two hundred question mark. This is I believe from the hyper array, hyper factorial array notation, something like that. Another very very big number. Um, however, we're not gonna look at this. We're gonna look at uh, Harlem's number. So what is this number? It is actually one of the nine numbers listed on the Googleology wiki that is bigger than Rayo's number. So if you look at that site, if you look at Googleology wiki, uh, I think there's only nine or ten numbers listed there that is bigger than this. At, at least in that category, the uncomputable big numbers. Um, and what is this? So basically it's written this way, IA of 200 and the I stands for the iota function and A stands for the number of Planck times in this many years, which is around this many Planck times. So what is this again? So basically, obviously, is an uncomputable function that is trying to make the biggest numbers ever. Um, and it takes on two variables, so as you can see here, i is the function, so it takes on two variables, m and n, so the input would be n, just like other functions, and there's another variable, m over here, and m represents time. So basically what it means is, uh, kind of, you know, in a um, short story, it's basically the largest number, or the largest output that can be created in m time or in m in this case is the Planck time or you can treat it as years doesn't matter the biggest number human can make in m number of years something like that and some of you will immediately um, think this sounds familiar because actually over a year ago I make a video call could this be the biggest number ever and it's kind of my, my own number but that actually I borrowed an idea from a commenter. Basically, I uh, mentioned m, the function m of n. And what does this mean? It means the largest number that can be defined with uh, n number of mathematicians in n number of years. So this is very, very similar to actually the Holland's number. And I have to say, I did not copy him. I I never heard or read about this number back then, a year and a half ago. Um, and I actually saw this number just a few months ago. So anyway, it's a coincidence. But I think a lot of people already, you know, have this idea, how, trying to get the biggest number possible. And it's basically the same idea, but here it's using, you know, A as the Planck time. And... 200 is just an input, so you can input 200. He just put 200 in there. You can put 100, a Google, whatever in there. And basically, what's it combines every single possible, I mean, every single function that has been created by human within this time frame. I think starting from 1 AD, you know, basically 2000 years ago and you start counting and what's the biggest number that can be defined during this time by human and he, of course he used for some reason he used this years this number of years so in 10 to the 54 years so obviously this is a ill defined number it's not well defined because it doesn't specific an actual number is you know you can say it's worse than Rayo's number even less well defined and even some people who say even more cheating than Rayo. Um, and I kind of agree, you know, at Googleology Week has stated this is an ill defined number, not well defined. Otherwise, it will be good. It will be the biggest name number ever if, if it's well defined. And um, it's obvious, you know, it's clear to see, you know, it's not a specific number. It wasn't even defined. It's not clearly defined, lack of detail, it's vague. Um, you know, who knows what happens in this many, many years, you know. Even the, you cannot even assign an ordinal to it, you know, because if you assign it, there will be a bigger ordinal that people are going to make in the future. You know, 10 to 54 years is a far, far, far into the future. 
So basically, yeah, it's just ill-defined, obviously. Um, and but however, if it's well-defined, let's say if it's ill-defined, then it will be bigger than basically any number in Google. Well, same for my number here. Uh, it will be not just bigger than rail. It will be even bigger than the little bigger than. Um, the squash swatch and the uh, big food and also the uh, oblivion and utter oblivion maybe even larger than the gardens number and of course bigger than uh, fish number seven those numbers um, but you know obviously is ill-defined but this is it is actually listed on google G wiki i guess because this this person is um, quite famous in the Google G wiki, but I think some people, even myself, I have, you know, create something similar. So anyway, this is how big is Holmes number. If it's well-defined, it could be the biggest name number, but actually, you know, it's not, it's ill-defined. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.